I'm with Domo Managing Director Frank Novembre and Interior Designer Greg Natali and we're talking about the collaboration between Domo, French furniture manufacturer Grange and Greg. Frank, Grange is a very well established brand in the Australian market so why the decision to, to bring them together, to bring Greg and Grange together? Uh, we've been uh, dealing with Grange now for just over 32 years and uh, we found it a very successful brand in Australia in the sense that it's been uh, accepted for its French originality. Uh, but we decided recently that we'd like to collaborate with Greg to give it an Australian perspective. And how many pieces, Frank, are there in the range? Uh, there's approximately 25, um, and obviously they can be added to over time. But at the moment, what we're dealing with is predominantly a dining setting, uh, a lounge setting, uh, a study, and a bedroom. So Greg, how has Australian taste in design and furniture changed in recent years? Um, Neil, we've become a lot more layered now, which is, um, which is amazing to work with. So, you know, a few years back, or even, you know, maybe 10 years um, back, everything was very pared back. Yeah. You know, there wasn't rugs, there wasn't throw cushions, but now we've become a lot more layered. And, you know, for me, it's so much more fun to work with. I love it. And Frank, from your perspective too, what do you feel is influencing Australian design at the moment or Australian furniture? Um, I, I find that there seems to be a huge reliance in Australia on, on Milan. Uh, and, and I suppose because we predominantly deal with French companies, I find that a little bit strange because I, I think that most of the influence comes from France in terms of design trends. I think the Italians executed much better in furniture, but I think in terms of colours and fabrics, uh, generally the, the, the trend-setting colours and fabrics come out of France. Greg, would you agree with that? Where is this layering coming from? Where's the influence? I totally agree. It's, um, for, um, for me, it's um, from um, France and America. So French designers have always layered really well. American designers layer really, really well. And I suppose with my own personal style, um, Maybe we, you know, I pull back the layers, you know, a couple of layers because American designers create these really full interiors and because, you know, being in Australia and, our, and, our, and we're more relaxed, you know, I like to pull it back just a couple of layers, but definitely, definitely France and for me it's also America. So how did you approach this collaboration with, with Grange? Look, um, I've always loved Grange Furniture. I'm really passionate about the brand. And for me, I just felt that maybe it needed to be, you know, sexed up a bit. So, you know, I wanted to apply my signature black and white to it. And, um, and then, you know, you know, I just felt that the teal blue or the petrol blue, you know, would just really pop everything. And then, of course, we laid it with our, um, with our classic, you know, geometric patterns that we use. If you had to sum up how your range for Grange differs from the original, how, how would you do that? Um, or I'm going to say tailored, so it's more tailored, um, it's slicker, I would say fresh and sexier. Thanks guys, great talking Thank to you, you both. Thanks Neil. Thanks. 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 Thanks.